Do you think that we're in a simulation? It's probably not one that is intentionally created. And if it is, then not for our own benefit. So I think that what we can describe of the universe can be described in some sense in a language. So it's a computational system. We can describe the universe as if it was a computer program. And is this computer program being created by someone? There's no evidence for that. For instance, we see all these galaxies, all this enormous amount of structure above us and below us, in, inside of ourselves and so on, that was not necessary for creating our experiences. Mm -hmm. Most of the complexity of the cell does not compute to the complexity of the organism. Most of the complexity of the organism doesn't contribute to the complexity of our uh, minds. And most of the complexity of our minds doesn't contribute to the complexity of the civilization. It's only a few parts at each level that contribute to the emergent thing on the next layer, right? So uh, we always have the impression that where we model the world, this is where it's at. This is where it's important. And of course, this is not the case. It's just our human world, the thing that we are identified. And we don't see the larger patterns. There could be a larger pattern where there is a competition between civilizations, but I don't see this happening in our part of the universe. It's one of those interesting experiments that we don't have evidence for, but that is an interesting thought experiment. Yes. And yeah, yeah. Uh, Elon Musk had this idea that we could be living in a simulation because um, if you make a computer game, at some point it will, might become realistic enough that it's indistinguishable from reality. and decent civilization will at some point have many of those game consoles and some of these uh, simulated worlds might have uh, simulated worlds inside of them so people with game consoles inside of the game console so uh, there will be always many many more simulations than uh, base realities and so the probability that you should be in such an artificial simulation is higher um, than you, that you are in ground truth mm -hmm. but the problem is that whenever you do such a simulation and our universe uh, everything is finite um, it means that you're only using a very small subset of the parent universe. For instance, if you build a computer in Minecraft, and this computer in Minecraft is only going to use a very small subset of the Minecraft world. And uh, in the same way, uh, the computer that runs Minecraft is going to use only a very small subset of our universe for its own structure, right? So you lose many, many orders of magnitude of computational complexity from layer to layer. Maybe. And I, I don't think that you can build a computer on the planetary surface that is large enough to run a uh, proper biological evolution. So I, d I don't think that we can mm. build a simulation that is detailed enough to have our biogenesis based on chemistry. We mm. can have something that models aspects of this, of course, where we have shortcuts and uh, sure. smokes and mirrors and scaffolding and so on to, to get to those parts that we want. But to have something that really runs on, the, uh, on a sub-molecular level and gives you evolution and eventually minds and so on, we probably cannot build this.